Constantine, you mentioned the Fed. That's what J.P. Morgan said over the weekend, too, about 2020 recession. They said, look, if the Fed is less spooked by full employment, uh, more tolerant uh, of uh, inflation overshoot and less anxious to reach restrictive policy, then 2020 might not be a year to think about recession. That was the framework at the end of last year. Are you rethinking that now? Yeah, I mean, and the framework I was thinking of was, well, okay, if we follow the current dot plot, right, that means that there's more likely to be a recession. We'll probably see a yield curve inversion. We'll see tighter liquidity conditions. And don't forget, with the dollar being the reserve currency, our tighter liquidity conditions here reverberate around the entire world. You look at all the emerging markets that had to raise rates in 2018 just to prevent their currencies from devaluing too much. So, so it's not just the U.S. It impacts the entire globe. If the Fed is on a different trajectory, that also impacts the entire globe. Does that reassure us about the economy or does it make us nervous? I mean, 10 years on now, we've got enormous liquidity injected from the central banks. Are we in a world now where we're going to have to keep that liquidity out there? We can never go back to what is so-called normal without risking recession. Well, David, I think that is the question, right? That is the, that is the concern because we are in a lower growth world. We have lower potential GDP because our working age populations are either declining as they are in Europe or Japan or China or growing at a slower rate as they are here in the U.S and productivity has correspondingly been low. So if you have a lower potential GDP you, and you combine this with this world where we have just huge central bank balance sheets, um, it really begs the question, is this the new normal? And I think the idea is to try to get back to some semblance of the previous normal, but a lot of people think that that genie can never be put back in the bottle.